Guys, Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, and I wanted to do an update on Helium Network. Okay, and also we're going to take a look at Bitcoin and why this is important for the short to mid term price action on Helium USDT pair. So, right now we can see I have a falling wedge drawn out on the Helium chart. It's very untidy, all right, guys, but um, I believe that this is a falling wedge. Okay, if we take out these wicks. That to me would say it's a falling wedge, at least on the four hour chart. All right, guys, we are starting to get some closing candles on the one hour and the four hour. We are waiting for the, the, the uh, this candle to close above this level. All right, guys, and if that does happen, then I think, you know, a lot of other people will see that and trade this accordingly. But that would be a buy the breakout level on Helium Network. Helium has been one of the more stronger altcoins to hold up. If we look at many altcoins across the board, they've had very huge dips. All right, guys, massive dips, some of them 70% retraces. All right, if we have a look at Helium, if we go from its peak, the lower end of the retrace would have been approximately 64%. So that's close to 70%. However, the pattern formation is holding up very well. It's looking very strong. I would like to see more volume. All right, much more volume. But in the short to mid term, I think that this will get a break out of this falling wedge. And of course, if we look at targets, um, you will kind of mark out the support and resistance levels. So we would say um, that this would be the first target, of course, which is a very small move up to $14. And then we've got levels over here like that. Oh, let's just uh, draw another line. We've got levels over here like that you could say this would be a potential target around this level okay and ultimately uh, the the target would be up here at around 19 dollars okay but obviously it's got some resistance to fight to get there so it does depend on volume and it also depends on the price action of bitcoin being a usdt pair of course if it was a btc pair then it would suffer from bitcoin moving to the upside but why i think that bitcoin may potentially move to the upside is because of this falling wedge on bitcoin also um we need to see volume the rsi is a little bit more um near enough overbought on bitcoin in helium it's still got uh, a lot of room to go and of course with bitcoin it looks like it could potentially be you know um at the least probably let's just measure it out okay at the least if we go to the top of the wedge Probably about a 20% move. Okay, so obviously with helium in comparison to that, it will be a lot more. All right, guys. So if we go to the first target, you'd see that it will be a potentially 8 to 20%. All right, guys. And obviously at the top of the wedge, it will be around 51% of a move there for helium network. Obviously, the altcoins run much harder than Bitcoin, but they are at the mercy of Bitcoin. All right, guys. So, um, what I believe is uh, it might um, uh, it might struggle for the next 24 hours potentially. All right, guys, just for the for the simple fact that it's the weekend. All right, but when the retail traders come back um, tomorrow evening, Sunday, they'll probably see this pattern, see that there's a breakout of the triangle, if there is a breakout, and they'll probably be putting in buy orders, and that will give this a strong impulse to the upside. Same for Bitcoin, of course. All right, guys, so you have to remember a lot of people are trading these patterns. A lot of people are seeing the same thing. So it's anticipating people's behavior. Uh, 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 that's how we make money in this market sometimes, okay? All of this is just a picture of people's behavior. Of course, there are trading bots as well, and trading bots are programmed, okay? So it's, it's very likely that if we start to get closes above these levels, uh, we could still see bots kicking in those orders despite it being a weekend. And of course, like I said, uh, when the weekend is over and we, we begin to, to, to get into the, the evening hours of tomorrow, Sunday evening, um, you know, people are going to be putting buy orders in uh, because that's what I would do at the end of the day. So that is my analysis for Helium. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen my previous video on Helium, I will leave a postcard up above. You can click that link. All right, guys, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get videos like this as soon as they come out and like the video that also helps with the algorithm guys and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video